Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So today I've decided that we're going to refit our mechs because we really need to be start starting to punch above our weight here to get more salvage, to get heavier mechs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our Wolverine here. He's not really functioning the way I think he should. Now I've kind of gone through all my mechs already and got a good idea of how I'm going to switch things around here. So going into the Wolverine, what we're going to do is we're going to make an ATM build on this guy. The ATMs do excellent damage. So what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to pull out these two SRM6s. Now we're going to need to save a lot of weight because the ATMs are heavy. So let's go to equipment real quick, or sorry, weapons. We're going to go to our missiles and we're going to load those ATMs in. So we're going to need space. I'm just going to pull these heat sinks out for now. Going to drop our ATMs in. Oops. Oh, sorry. We have to pull out the Artemis system first before we can do that because these guys have built-in Artemis in them. So we're going to put these two in. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to pull out our ER medium and our regular medium lasers. Going to leave the large, actually, you know what? We're going to pull out the large as well. I think we're going to need that gone. So our heat sinking has gone way up here, 52 out of 34. So the next thing we can do is we can have a look at what our secondary systems are going to be. Now I'm thinking probably two medium lasers for sure. Um, and I think the other thing we're going to be adding is a tag later on. But right now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop another medium laser in here. So now we're at uh, four tons left over and our heat sinking has dropped slightly. So we're going to need to pull out our SRM ammo. And I'm going to need to move our cooling pod up here because we're going to need more room for ATM ammo. We're going to be firing 21 per turn. So we're going to need a fair bit of ATM ammo. Now because these guys are LRM um, based and they've got Artemis systems built in, we can use our Artemis ammo now. So I'm going to drop that in here too with just two more tons of LRM ammo. Now we're at 52 tons. So let's have a look at what else we can do here. We need to replace our upper arm over on this side. But we really can't do that with what we have here. So we're going to take out our ferrofibrous armor first. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to equipment. And we're going to go down and we're going to grab our stealth armor and drop that in here. Because we've got a, a few extra tons, we really didn't need much more than that. So we're going to drop that in. Then I think what else we're probably going to do um, is repair that arm. We're going to put a uh, regular arm hand back in here. So we do have a little bit of melee capability on this guy. Now we've got a breaching cockpit which is great because I want to leave that in with the ATM. So I want to be able to do as much damage with these guys as possible. Because this mech is going to be the one that's going to be going in and, and targeting people right off the bat, we're going to take the rest of the tonnage that we have left over. Since our heat sinking right now is at 52 uh, and an alpha strike is 59, we can cycle a medium laser on and off. Plus we're planning on pulling the medium laser a little bit later on and dropping a tag in the arm as well because this guy is going to be our front liner. If we're going to be cycling a medium laser on and off we might as well give our other guys a better chance to hit. So we're going to do that later. But right now we're going to leave three medium lasers in. So what we'll do is add on whatever we have left here which really isn't that much. Actually we'll put our heat sink back in I think. One heat sink back in. And we've got like just a little over half a ton of armor. So we're going to add it back to the legs here. One, two, three, and then a little bit in the center torso. And we've got one left over. Maybe put it in the back center. Something like that. And then, yeah, I think that's our build there. So this guy is going to be our frontliner, moving forward, tagging the enemy, moving out. Um, so 13 days, 23,000, pretty good. So we're going to confirm this. The next thing we want to have a look at, once we get out of here, is our hunchback. Our hunchback's been giving us some problems. Um, it hasn't been a hundred percent reliable but what I want to really do with this guy is look at his his build. If we're gonna have units that are gonna be tagging and stuff up close I want to have this guy to a point where he can just do lots of damage from a good range. So what we're gonna do once we get this refit here is um, first thing we want to do actually sorry before we start the hunchback let's go and pull out the weapon we want to put in here which is on our other trebuchet right now. So let's have a look at the trebuchet 7K. I'm going to refit him real quick. We're going to be pulling out the heavy Gauss rifle on him. We're going to be moving that to our hunchback. Now I know we haven't had a really good uh, track record with Gauss rifle in the hunchback, but I think maybe this weapon is going to be definitely needed when we're fighting heavier mechs for sure. So we're going to pull it off of here. Uh, in, in, in the interim, what we'll do just for now, um, 
Actually, you know what? We'll just do this for now. I don't want to be clogging up our uh, repair bay with other mechs at the moment. So we'll do this. Switch back to the Hunchback. Right. Now this is going to be a real jury rig build because it's going to be hard to squeak in this Gauss rifle into um, the Hunchback here. We really need to pay attention to what we're doing on this one. And simply because we've got so many weapon systems, right? We're going to have to pull out the Ultra 10, obviously, pull out the ammo. Let's pull those out. The rocket launchers are going to have to go. Uh, we can lose, I think, all five of our heat sinks that we have. Leave a double one for now. So that's pretty close to getting it in here. So we're going to grab our one ton of Gauss ammo. Actually, I think we're going to want two tons, probably, for fighting heavier mechs for longer periods of time. So we're going to do that, and we're going to go to our ballistic here, go down to our Gauss rifle, heavy Gauss rifle, here we go, and drop that into the torso. Now we're one ton over. So we've got a couple of choices. I think what I might do is I might pull out one of these medium pulses. I'm just going to pull that out for now. And I think in our equipment, if I go down here, no, we don't. I thought we had another ballistic targeting system that we could drop in to help the Gauss rifle out a bit, but we don't. Uh, so what I'll do is just drop, if we go to weapons here, lasers. Um, we have an ER medium we could drop in, which I think I will. We're just going to put it in the uh, thing here. And our heat efficiency should should be really, really good. Yeah, it's, it's excellent here. So we don't really have to worry too much about this guy right now with heat. But I think what I might want to do is have a look and see. We could probably pull out that other heat sink. If, let's find out here. Let's go to the store and find out what that plus one ballistic would be. I'm thinking having that extra hit chance on this guy, um, firing from a distance, will probably be a good idea. So we're going to go to equipment, go right down to the bottom here, plus one, ballistic, 342,000. I think that's a reasonable buy, especially for what we, we need this for. I'm sure we could pick, the, pick one up somewhere along the way, but I would rather, like if we can buy it, I would rather save... Um, that slot for a salvage for something else we could use that's more important than this. So we're going to pull out the double heat sink, which we can use somewhere else, and we'll put it in the plus one ballistic targeting system. We're going to put it on the side with the heavy Gauss rifle, and we're going to leave our build like this. So we're pretty heat neutral here, which is excellent. Uh, and if we have to cycle the weapon on and off, it'll be the ER medium laser or pulse lasers, depending on how far away the enemy is. But the clan pulse lasers fire at a good distance, which is good. So that's this one. Now, I think what I want to do here um, eventually is find a cockpit with um, breaching shot. And I think what we might have to do is swap out the cockpits from the Wolverine and we might put this one into the Wolverine to reduce the damage on them and then take the slick suite out of this one and put in the uh, breaching shot one from the Wolverine, but we'll do that later. So this is only eight days, 16,000. So we're not spending very much money refitting this other than the component that we bought. So that's good. So the next thing we want to look at is our trebuchet. Now our trebuchet is suffering from weight problems. We always try to stick something in it, but we don't have the weight. And I figured out where I've kind of been missing, and that's the fact that this guy is still running with a, a, um, a light engine. So we're going to replace the light engine with a Clan XL engine. So we've got a light engine here. We're just going to pull that out, go to our equipment. Now we've picked up a couple, a couple of Clan XL engines over the past little while, so we're going to drop one of these in here. Now we've got three tons to play with. So the first thing I want to look at, though, with this guy, um, he's pretty heat efficient overall. We, can, we could drop another double heat sink in, but I, I think what I want to do is worry more about his armor here. Because if we're going to be punching above our weight, the last thing we want is for people to be blowing through this guy. So we're going to put one ton, Oops. so that's one ton of armor, and then perhaps a second ton maybe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Maybe we just take two off of here and put two in the back. So something like that. And we got one ton remaining. I think what I'll do for now is we will go ahead and grab Maybe just a regular heat sink. What are we at here? Mm. Yeah, we'll heat it. Oh, you know what? We will put the double heat sink in this guy, I think. Um, just so that we can continuously fire everything. We don't have to turn anything off. So that's pretty good, actually, overall. 72, 71. On a hot world, we may have to turn off the ER small, but that's fine. We've been doing that anyway. So this, I think, is actually a pretty good setup. Plus two missile. 
you know, our accuracy is still really, really good with these uh, missile launchers, so that's great. I was thinking about replacing these with the clan launchers that I had, but then with the accuracy and evasion or and a plus one damage, I'm thinking that this is probably a better loadout for this particular mech going forward into the heavier mech zone. So we're going to confirm this. And the last mech we want to look at from our main lance is the Butcher. Now we're not going to really do too much to him. Um, so we're going to go to look at the Butcher. Let's refit him real quick. Now the thing I want to do with this guy is I want to upgrade his engine. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to get more speed, get more flanking with these PPCs. If we're going to be taking on heavy mechs, I want to be able to flank them a little better. Uh, get to the side, shoot off legs, things like that. So we're going to rejiggy this guy a bit. We are going to be pulling out the fusion core first, so let's we'll confirm this. And what this fusion core will give us, once we swip, swatch, swap this around, is it will give us uh, the ability to pull out a couple of heat sinks. So now we are now we can refit this guy. It's taken a while to go back. I've been going back and forth for a while here trying to figure out what to do with all these mechs. So we're going to refit this guy, and what we'll do with him, now that we've got that engine out, is we're going to go to our engines. And we're going to go and grab a 225. So we had this one in before. Uh, now we have the 225. We can pull a heat, couple of heat sinks out of this guy. So we don't have to worry about it because we only need one extra heat sink now. Um, and then we'll go down and grab our double heat sink kit. Drop that in. So our heat sinking is excellent. We can pull out one, two, and I think it was three double heat sinks we could pull out of this guy, if I'm not mistaken. We should be pretty close to flush. And if we pull the tag out, I'm just trying to remember how I did this. Yeah, pull the tag out, one heat sink goes back in. So we've got half a ton left over. Um, the heat sinking is really weird right now because the Alpha Strike itself adds 14 more heat than what we have there. So it'll be an Alpha Strike of 82. So we're almost completely heat neutral still on this guy. Um, just by adding the fusion core. We had to take the tag out, but that's okay because we're going to be putting it on the Wolverine later on. And then what we're going to be doing, uh, n now that we've got this done, is we're going to be adding the remainder. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, equipment. We'll go down to, let's see here, uh, patchwork materials. We're going to drop this in. So now we've got extra tonnage that we can use. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to go one, two, we're going to add a quarter ton of armor to the legs and to the front and then we have another one we can add to the back so we're almost fully maxed on our armors now which is great we got one ton left over which now we can decide to use for something else perhaps so one thing we could do um, is pull out this exchanger and replace it with the other one we've got a, a bigger exchanger here just sitting in the in the uh, slot so when we are on um, heat problematic planets so we're going to do this real quick um, when we're on heat pro problematic planets we're still going to have better heat sinking so it's alpha strike is 64 roughly another 13 so it'll be 77 alpha strike 84 heat reduction so we'll be firing these ppcs a whole heck of a lot now i could leave the tag in but like i said it's going to be on the wolverine so i'm not really that worried about it so we're it's three days 54,000. we're going to confirm this so we've got really great chances to hit with this guy at good distance now we've got some half decent oh, speed no. we've gained about you know 20, 25 kph on them, so it's going to be good. So there's our main lance. We're going to just manage our tasks here a little bit. We're going to pull the locust down to the bottom, and we're going to pull a fire starter down to the bottom. Now the fire starter is going to be disappearing out of the lineup, and so is the locust. The locust we're going to sell. So let's just close this. But we want to get the gear off them first, right? So now let's have a look at the re remainder of our lance here. Now our panther right now has our two LRMs and a whole bunch of heat sinks and stuff. And most of this stuff, I think the Panther is probably at the end of its run. We can use a full medium lance now for our pirate lance, which is, I think, what we're going to do. We can repurpose the LRMs on this guy. So we've got two LRMs, not a whole lot of, like, I mean, we've got the clan medium pulse in this guy. Uh, bonus LRM ammo to hit some Ferris, Endo Steel, and, you know, another light engine, which we're not really going to use, the Ultra Light Gyro, which we will use. So we're going to just send this guy to storage because we don't really need him anymore and that will instantly strip all the gear off this guy and then we can start thinking about what we're going to do with the with our max here so let's just pull this off and confirm okay so the first thing i want to do is have a look at the 5s here now the 5s is 
pretty much, it's an SRM build, but it's pretty much the same as the Trebuchet 5N. The S is just a short range build, and this is the long range build. So we're going to refit this guy, and we're going to keep him in the short range vein, I think. This Trebuchet is going to be the guy that's going to be doing most of the heavy fighting up close, whereas our other guys are going to be longer range mechs, mostly. So this guy is going to take the SRMs uh, that we had on our Wolverine. So first thing we're going to do is max out the armor on this guy. Lower the back by one for now. Actually, let's take another half a ton off. We don't really need it. Well, you know what? Now that I say that, let's not do that so much. Maybe we can take off. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty good. The back's fine. Maxed out everywhere else. We want to make sure, obviously, we don't die. So definitely we don't want to have SRM ammo in the side torso. Let's just move it down here for now. Maybe move a heat sink uh, down here. We're only going to have two tons of ammo, I think. So let's go to weapons first. We're going to go to missile systems, and we're going to grab, um, here we go, our accuracy ammo. Going to drop it in. Let's just move this over. Uh, Artemis, right. So equipment, way down to the bottom. We do have a, two Artemis systems here sitting and waiting to be used. Going to put one there, and going to weapons again, missile systems. We're going to grab our Artemis ammo. Right, so now we've got two plus three chance to hit with these guys. We are going to then grab um, our two SRM double pluses here and put one in here and one in here. We now need to get our arm pieces, arm hand on this side, and I think it's only arm lower on the other side. Yeah, we're going to put those in. We definitely need this on this side because we're going to have some lasers on here too. So right now we're at 50 tons. Um, we're maxed out already, so just with the engine and everything. So we need to put uh, better engines and stuff in this guy. So because this guy's going to be up close, let's go to equipment. Sorry, let's grab our... Uh, I think we're just going to grab a light engine for this guy. And then we're going to go and get in equipment. Uh, I think we will grab... Let me think here. This guy's going to be the close-in guy. So let's grab our stability... Melee, uh, us melee accuracy gyro. Hmm, do I want to use this one on this guy? I'm going to have to worry about heat sinking. We need still can add endo steel, which we've got lots of. So that's okay. And we've got four and a half tons here. Heat sinking is like 39 right now, is it not? 42. And we, our alpha strike's really low. So let's first grab weapons and decide what we're going to do that route. So let's grab in our lasers here. We're going to put in... I think we're going to go with the standard loadout here and go with three medium lasers. I think that's what we'll do first. So our heat seeking has dropped slightly. Yeah, it's dropped a fair bit there. So we can go to equipment and heat seeking. We could drop an exchanger in, but I don't think I want to do that with this particular mech. A couple of more regular heat sinks would probably do it. We could put out a double heat sink as well and do this. So now we're at 5158. So maybe we just take out a medium laser and drop in a small laser and add one more heat sink, maybe, just for now. We'll worry about getting a better gyro and switching out the engine later on, which means we'll be able to have more heat. So this guy is kind of already in the same position that our other... Um, let's do this first. This and this that our other trebuchet was in, um, which is not being, you know, perfectly heat balanced. But this guy is pretty good. Its firepower is okay, but he's got lots of armor. So for the mechs that he's going to be fighting, he's well suited. So we're just going to confirm this. And he's relatively fast. He's got a 250 fusion core, so he can move pretty quickly. So we're going to confirm this. It's a 19-day refit, but we're okay with that. Oh. All right, so now we want to have a look at the 7K. We're going to refit this guy. This guy's going to be a longer range build again. Now he was built originally when we built him to carry the heavy PPC or the heavy um, um, Goss rifle. So we're going to drop in our bonus to hit Goss rifle. We're not going to put the one with the bonus damage on it only because this guy is being piloted by pilots that aren't as good as our higher level guys. So we want to give him a bit of accuracy and evasion at Nor. Two tons of Goss ammo, which is great. Two medium lasers. We've got three tons remaining. I mean, we could pull out the XL gyro and put a light engine in instead and use this gyro on the other trebuchet. Um, but we'll worry about that later. I'm going to go to equipment. And I 
think what we'll do... This guy's loadout is kind of weird. I think one of the things I was thinking about doing with this guy is if we go with just a dedicated long-range build, we could take one of the LRMs, the clan LRMs that we had. If we pull out two medium lasers, we could take the, one of the clan LRM-15s and drop it in his arm and then put a... Um, a ton of LRM ammo. We could leave a ton of Goss ammo off, I think. Because I don't think these guys are going to really be going more than 8 turns in a, in a combat. So if we leave that off, we could put a medium laser back in. Then we can do... Let's grab... Um, sorry, weapon systems, equipment, and we can use just a bonus LRM ammo. It's only 80 rounds, so we're going to need 2 tons of that. So we need 1, and then a second ton of LRM ammo over here. And then what we'll do is we're going to lower the armor slightly by half a ton. Now, this guy doesn't have quite the, the tonnage as the other guys do, but he's designed as a long-range build, so he won't be closing, closing in point-blank on the enemy. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we'll leave him around this area here, I think. Um, the, other way, the other thing to do is maybe just... What, what do we have left now with the engines? I think we've got, one, we've got two light engines and one clan XL. So I think we can afford a light engine in this guy. So now we can actually max out his armor. And where does that leave us here? Just leaves us slightly short of being fully maxed out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm just trying to get us back down to a point where let's go this route. We got one ton left over. Our heat sinking is flush, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to drop one more heat sink in. I want it to be a little bit over, just so that we have the ability to move around a bit and not overheat completely. So we'll do that, and we'll leave this mech at this this stage right here. So we've got a nice heavy Goff, Goss rifle in. Um, the other thing to do would be to buy a ballistic targeting system for this, but we can worry about that later on. The cockpit we don't need right now in this guy. We're going to have to find more cockpits later on and drop them in. Okay, so now we've got our Vindicator and Blackjack. Now these guys are actually operating half decent right now. The Vindicator we're going to refit. I think what we're going to do is do something similar that we did with the Trebuchet 7K, and that is fit in the Clan LRM-15 into his shoulder. We're going to pull out the Streak 4. Now the Streak's got a bonus accuracy, which is nice, but I think if we pull out the Streak 4, which is 12 heat, and the ammo. And then we go with the... Where are we going here? So we want to put in the gyro that we had, which is somewhere down here. Gyro, ultralight, here we go. So we're going to gain a bit of weight here, a couple of tons, which is excellent. Then we're going to go to our weapons, and we're going to grab our LRM-15 clan. There we go. And we're going to drop that in here. So now our heat sinking is taking a little bit of a heat uh, hit there. It's a little different because the PPC capacitor adds the plus 20% uh, to PPC heat. Uh, the PPC heat is generating 35, so another 20% is like another 7 heat. So we're at 54 to 57. So now we need to add some ammo. So first thing we need to do is go buy some more um, LRM ammo. This will give us 8 turns, but what we want to do is we want to go purchase some Artemis ammo for it. Uh, only because we want to maximize our chance to hit. So even getting that extra little plus one is definitely going to be a help. So we're going to go to weapons and missile systems and go down to the ammo, which is right here. And we're going to buy a ton of that. New equipment and we'll head back. Now we do have 453,000 left over, which isn't bad. Um, and we still have a few other things that we can tweak once these guys come back out of um, being um, overhauled. So now we've got like another half, one a ton and a half here. So we could add a couple of things to this. We've got some half decent heat. I mean we could add just a small laser and a heat sink, which I think is probably going to be the case. The other thing we could do is add a tag, but we're saving that for the Wolverine and we don't have any more tags. I sold a bunch of them and I probably shouldn't have. But we were low on cash, so I did. So I think that's what we'll do, is we will probably just drop a small laser in for close range fighting. 
We won't use it a whole lot, but it'll be there just in case we need it. And then we will grab... I don't know if we have a double heat sink left, do we? We do have one double heat sink left. We're going to drop that in. Let's put it inside with the PPC capacitor, I think. It's tough now because both of these weapons are really... I don't want to lose either side on this mech. So it's a really tough decision on which side to throw it on. So our heat sinking now is... It's actually pretty good. Another 7 to that is 64, 65. Yeah, if we don't fire the small laser that often, we should be pretty good. So let's confirm this. It's only 5 days. And the last mech we want to have a look at is the Blackjack. Now, once again, I don't really like the Blackjack as a platform. The fact that um, we don't have the plus 1 accuracy in the arms is kind of annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. We've got the PPC on the one side and lasers on the other. If we can get in here real quick. But the fact that it's got like so many laser hard points is a bonus. Now we were running this guy at one point in time as a flamer build, but we're obviously not going to do that now. So we're going to just go to our equipment, and because we've got leftover engines here, we're going to drop a light engine into this guy. Um, requires four additional free slots. So if we pull out the Pharaoh for now, um, let's put in the uh, light engine. Now do we have clan Indosteel? I think we still have one clan Indosteel left. We do, so let's swap that around. So we're going to pull that out, put the clan endo in here. So we got two tons now we can play with. Um, our heat build is actually quite good on this mech. We don't have a PPC capacitor unfortunately, but you know we're actually quite good. So we've got a little bit of space to play around with here. So I don't think I want to add any armor to this guy. He's pretty armored up. So maybe we just do a couple of things here. Let's grab... What do we have that we can use on this guy? I don't think a whole lot really. Slick system, I think we want to leave sensors in sight. Mm. Do we really need to be that close? I don't think so. So this is 30 heat. I think I want to leave the three medium lasers. I was thinking about putting in the clan ER large, but I think the three medium lasers for this build is probably better overall. I wish I could put like lower arm accurate actuators in even. It would just be so much better. I don't think there's really anything. I mean, we could add a couple of flamers for point blank weapon fire. But is I mean, it's not really necessary though. That's the only thing like they're not really going to be adding anything to this mech. Maybe maybe we'll just do that then. Just drop a couple flamers in for now. So that's the clan. We don't want the clan one. We want this one here. Here we go. So yeah, I mean, our heat efficiency drops down if we use the flamers, but chances are we're not going to be using the flamers, so I think we're probably fine with that. Actually, do we have... I thought we had a different ECM suite here. We have the Guardian suite. This one's only one ton, and this is one and a half. We could swap that out. Make this guy harder to hit and put the clan flamer in instead. So maybe we do that. That'll give us a bit better defense on this guy. And we can pull out the regular flamer and go back to weapons and drop in the clan flamer instead. I think that'll probably balance it out a little better. Yeah, let's go this route. I think this guy actually is pretty, pretty well laid out. I don't think we have any double heat sinks or anything. Do we have any exchangers left? I don't think so. We do have one exchanger for two tons. I mean, that would probably... Do I want to drop it in here, though? That's the question. Let's try it, see what happens. So we take out the two heat sinks, drop in this exchanger. We're over by a ton. Why is that? This is two tons. Oh, I only grabbed... Why only did it only pull out one heat sink? I thought I grabbed two. That was weird. So yeah, that's a lot better. I think we'll go that route. Drop the dropping the weapon heat, and then we'll be able to fire everything if we have to. Okay, cool. So that's only four days. We're going to confirm this. So I'll be back in a minute. Once these are all played out, I may need to sell some stuff first before we get this all these builds completely done. Let's go to manage tasks. The but the uh, fire starter and the locust need to all go down to the end. Let's just make sure our important mechs are in line here, so the fire starter can go at the end. So that's the bottom, Blackjack, Vindicator, two trebuchets. And the top, we've got... Let's get the Butcher back first. How do I, I'm not sure how this actually 
figures things out. So that's like 14 days. So if we do, I think that's probably right. 13 days would go through six, seven, and that would draw. Yeah, so that would probably be the best way to go right there. So let's close that up. All right, so I think we will be at a financial report before we get our second lance back, and our first lance will finish right at the financial report. So we need to make sure we have enough cash here. So I'm just going to sell a few things, and I'll be back just before the, or I guess right after the financial report when we report when we actually have absolutely no money. And uh, yeah, and we'll we'll uh, see how the new lance looks. We may just pull the uh, couple pieces off here, but I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So. We were able to swap out all those components we talked about swapping out too, so the tag that was on our Vindicator is now in the Wolverine. Um, so the tag's in here now. We switched out the cockpits as well, so the cockpit EI in this one is now giving us 10% damage reduction, and now the Hunchback has got a cockpit with breaching shot, which we can use for the heavy PPC, or the, um, sorry, the heavy uh, Gauss rifle. And I was able to, because we dropped out the fire starter and the locust, um, I put I prioritized those first and sold the locust so we can make it past our financial report, and just stuck the fire fire um, starter back in our uh, storage, and we were able to pull off some ferro fibers and stuff and a couple of cockpits. So I was able to outfit the trebuchet with the slick suite. Um, we got an injury cockpit for our close-up trebuchet. I was able to add some ferro fibers into. Um, I think our blackjack already had it, but we were able to add it into the trebuchet. So we were able to, you know, add a few extra things to our mechs in the time that we allotted. So we've only got three days left to the next financial report. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I think we did a really good job outfitting these two uh, medium lances. So we've got our primary, four primary mechs up here at the top, which are going to be hitting up um, heavier contracts. And our second lance, lower at the bottom, we'll still keep as our pirate lance, and they'll be hitting um, targets slightly lower, like two skulls or whatever, because the pilots just aren't quite as good. We can move up into three skull range, possibly up into the three and a half skull range at some point, but right now I think we want to test out our lance, at least probably on swift reclamation here, and we're going to need to make a little bit of money before the end of the month too. So we've got three days to do that. We can pull off two missions with our two new lances and easily make that cash before the uh, financial report. But until then, um, we're going to end the episode here, and if you like it, please leave a like, and feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you later.